God, for being a just God. Thank you, God, that you have reigned in this place this morning. We thank you, oh God, for saturating this place with your presence, God. Lord, I ask, God, that you just anoint me this morning to do what you have called me to do, God, to bring forth your word and to your people this morning, Lord. I decrease that you may increase, oh God, that you may be to get the glory out of your word, God. I thank you this morning. Let every ear hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying this morning. We bind up any hindrances, oh God, in this place this morning, any distractions that will prohibit your people, God, from getting what they need from you. We declare victory up in this place this morning, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for your angels that are in this place this morning. Hallelujah, that are sitting and supping with us on this morning. We thank you, God, that your train, oh God, has filled this temple, Lord. And I bless you this morning, God. In the name of Jesus, I lift your people up to you this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God is so awesome. He is so awesome. And I thank God this morning because he has a burden in my spirit this morning. I thank you, God, that you are taking me in another direction. Hallelujah, with your word. Hallelujah. And I praise you for it because this is the hour for the true men and women of God to stand up for righteousness and quit compromising in the things of God, in the word of God. Only using the word of God to benefit ourselves. But God is an awesome God. He is a strategic God. And he is a just God. I'm coming to you this morning out of the book of Mark. Uh, chapter 11, verses 12 through 14, and also 15 through 17. Hallelujah. And if I'm going to give this a topic, it, it will be. This topic will be, he will shut it down. He will shut it down. It starts at about the verse 12. And it said, the next morning as they were leaving Bethany, Jesus felt hungry. He noticed a fig tree a little way off that was in full leaf. So he went over to see if he could find any figs on it. But there were only leaves because it was too early in the in the season for fruit. Then Jesus said to the tree, may no one ever eat your fruit again. And the disciples heard him say, and when they arrived back in Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple and began to drive out the merchants and their customers. He knocked over the tables of the money changers and the stalls of those selling doves. And he stopped everyone from bringing in merchandise. He taught them the scriptures declare my temple will be called a place of prayer for all nations. But you have turned it into a den of thieves. And I'm going to stop right there. Hallelujah. When I'm talking about this and say he will shut it down.
You understand what I'm saying? Because I want to walk worthy. You ought to want to walk worthy of the call that God has on your life. When you go forth in ministry and it glorifies God, people's lives will be changed. If you're not bearing no fruit, nobody's life is going to be changed. See, people look at the laws of two. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm looking at, Lord, if I can change one person's life, and then that one person go tell somebody else, and then that one person go tell somebody else. See, God is real. It's time out. It's time for us to get alive, alive with the Lord himself. Like the fig tree. He gonna shut it down. Think about it. Is what you doing? Does it glorify God? Do you have motive? Or are you on mission? See. If you close your eyes right now and the Lord takes you right now is what you're doing in ministry bearing fruit. Or is it like that big tree? It looks like it got something going on. And then when you get close to it, it don't have it. Don't have, don't have no, no, no figs on the tree. Just a bunch of leaves that's camouflage. I cut a little old shit that in the ice. He cut a little old shit in the old shit in the old sir. He cut a little old shit in the old shit in the old call it a shit. He cut a little old shit in the old call it a shit in the old. Yes, God, you're calling your people to rest. You call him a whole of 